So Wrestling Empire has been updated for iOS and the Nintendo Switch, and now it is also available on Android, the device seemingly everybody wants it for. So it is out now, and I will link the place where you can get it in the description below. So go click the link. When I click it, it says install, so it's there, ready to use, as long as your device is capable of downloading it. Here's what was updated on the Nintendo Switch and the iOS. This is version uh, 1.0.2. Uh, we'll go through the list here. I'll also throw it up on the screen for you so you can read it for yourself. Uh, it says a wider selection of corner moves includes strikes, dedicated new double team moves. If two people grab an opponent at the same time, more storylines and podcast topics. A priority system prevents too many crowd sounds canceling each other out in highly populated matches. The title theme is restored to its correct pitch after matches. Tag partners are not allowed to interfere so often. Referees follow hardcore matches out of the ring. Hardcore gimmicks now use more weapons. Team-based Iron Man matches now correctly identify the leader winner. Facial scars don't disappear in first blood matches to help those end quicker. Escaping the cage is slightly easier. I've not had a cage match yet, uh, but I've heard it's very difficult. Announcers are automatically added to exhibitions to meet the quota you set in the options and they also appear in backstage locations i literally just had that happen i had a backstage altercation where there was two announcer booths set up using the hard cam angle backstage now faces the tunnel instead of getting stuck in it uh, training gains use less energy cloning options are available during a career and now include uh, reverting recent changes. It is now possible to change your facial features during a career and at an inflated cost to imply cosmetic surgery. Uh, where the build option cannot be changed, it now at least reveals your age, height, and weight. Names that begin with Z are correctly alphabetized. Starting with insufficient disk space, should warn the user that this is the issue and allow the game to proceed without saving progress. Age restrictions have been downgraded in every region, which allows the game to be distributed in New Zealand with a 13 OFLC rating. That's everything that's listed, and that was posted by uh, Reddit user Tommy Egan in Wrestling Empire. I love the name Tommy Egan. I love the show Power. <laughs> that's where that comes from. Um, so, I, of course, I just threw that up on screen there a little bit earlier for you. But those are all of the updates. But the big one, it is now available on Android. The link is in the description below. I've been playing it on the Nintendo Switch, and I absolutely love it. Whatever device you're playing it on, I hope you're enjoying it. Drop some comments below and tell me what your favorite memory of playing Wrestling Empire has been so far. I hope you all have a great day. And I'll see you again soon.